I'm Noah Magram, Principal Software Engineer for Sourcefire. This is my experience with a fake AV scammer who happened to call me at my home. I talked to a series of agents for 30 minutes, and the video starts when I decided to give them access to a virtual machine to see what they would do. At this point, the agent has said that one of their support technicians named Victor needs to examine my system. You will notice that they are using LogMeIn, which is a legitimate remote administration tool. Unfortunately, scammers sometimes try to use legitimate tools with bad intentions. Victor now requests full access to the machine. This should be an immediate red flag. Any agent can ask you to perform actions for them and see the results on their end in a view-only mode. I ask the agent if he is sure that I should give Victor access, and then I click OK. Now, Victor has control of my desktop. While the agent on the phone explains that I need to, quote, renew my subscription, he says that all software has a subscription, and mine has run out. Now, Victor attempts to load the company's website to show me their subscription options. Victor clicks the wrong button during the SSL warning and the website fails to load. You can see here that Victor has hit the back button in his attempt to operate the web browser. This brought us back to a prior site for showmypc.com. Showmypc.com is another example of a legitimate remote administration tool that scammers may try to use. Victor finally succeeds in loading their website and brings me to the subscription page. The agent on the phone now spends quite a while explaining their subscriptions while Victor plays with the browser. I lead him on here for a few minutes. Here we have another example of a legitimate service that scammers may try to use. In this case, it's a credit card processing company that processes transactions for a wide variety of legitimate businesses on the internet. I finally agree to purchase the one-year subscription, but lacking a virtual card, I enter a test number hoping that it will go through. I complain to the agent that my card has been declined. Now, Victor opens up the run dialog and starts msconfig.exe. Victor begins to disable all my Windows services and the increasingly agitated agent on the other end of the phone says that my machine is so compromised that they can't be held responsible for what happens next. However, it's clear to me what Victor is doing will end up disabling the system entirely. I ask the agent why Victor is disabling those services and what they are. The agent in the call center responds that it is a list of malware that they are disabling, while it is obvious that this is a standard Windows screen and these are vital Windows services. I ask him what the VMware services are, as this would indicate to a sophisticated attacker that they are on a virtual machine and not a home PC. I wonder if he will catch on, but he still insists that it's all malware that they are disabling. Here, Victor disables the VMware startup tray apps. He still appears to be totally clueless that he's inside a virtual machine. Here, Victor sets the boot options to safe mode with a command shell. 
This will disable most Windows services and force the user into a command line interface every time Windows boots. This will also make the computer appear only in black and white, a reference to the agent's earlier warning that malware will make my computer go, quote, black and white. This setting makes it very difficult for anyone who is not an advanced user to recover from. Now the agent on the other end of the line is very agitated. He wants to close the deal, and he's repeating that they have no responsibility for what could happen to my machine as it has a lot of malware on it. He's also insisting that I need to renew my subscription to avoid further problems. I tell him that I tried to, but their form didn't work, and then we go back and forth for another minute. Victor has finally had enough, and he decides to reboot the machine, knowing that when it comes back up, it will be in a clearly disabled state, and I will panic. At this point, I make an overt reference to their earlier threat and say, hey, why is my computer black and white? I can't stand it any longer, and I inform them that this was a virtual machine and that I had recorded the entire session. A panic what erupts over the line, and I am disconnected. So a couple takeaways here. First, Always question anyone who calls and insists that you have malware or problems with your computer. It's extremely unlikely that a vendor will do this out of the blue. Second, much like online scams, legitimate vendors won't immediately require remote access to your computer. To stay up to date, follow at SourceFire on Twitter or visit www.sourcefire.com.